Tomorrow is my first day at my new job. So I wanted to show you guys what I did the night before to prepare for my first day. So I'm planning on going to the gym in the morning. So I went ahead and got my bottle out, my BCAAs, what I'm going to wear to the gym, as well as my shoes. I have been wearing my Clove 2022s to the gym. They're so comfortable. And I'm not gonna be wearing scrubs and tennis shoes nearly as often in this new job so i'm going to be definitely using these at the gym i also got my outfit ready to go for tomorrow and last but not least i went ahead and packed my lunch it's already in the fridge ready to go this is what i did when i was a resident that's how i was able to work out in the morning before i went to work i also have things to do after work so anyway i will see you guys tomorrow for my first day just kidding it's still the night before but i forgot to show you so i actually got a new notebook for the job so whenever i was a resident i kept a notebook with me at all times I did the same thing as a student. I had more pocket sized ones, but I'll be at a desk. I also got this planner. It starts in August, so not this month because it's July as I'm recording this, but I'm going on vacation only after being here for like eight days, so it's fine to go ahead and do one for August. And the reason is I just like a paper planner. So this one just has plenty of lines. I'm more so using this for a to do list than anything else, but it also has the month setup. This is Ray Dunn. I love Ray Dunn everything. Like my current planner for home is also Ray Dunn. Another great Marshalls find. Okay, now I'm really going to bed. I will see you in the morning for a workout. Good morning, you guys. I made it. I did wake up a little bit late. I like hit snooze once or twice but I did make it in time, it is 6.30, so I can only be here for about like 20, 25 minutes because I need to be home around seven to get ready. But I've got my BCAAs, so I have plenty to drink, and I'm just gonna do a pretty chill workout because I'm not used to working out this early in the morning, and we'll see how it goes. Right, we made it to the hospital. I have my lunch, which is just like a turkey sandwich with some coconut yogurt and some grapes. But I have quite a walk to get to the pharmacy, so I'm gonna get off here and I will see you guys after my shift. I survived my first day as an investigational drug service pharmacist. I'm gonna tell you guys all about it when I get home, but I had to run some errands, so we are now at the UPS store doing two things. Number one, we're returning a bunch of items that did not work out from the haul that I did for a new wardrobe. These are all from Amazon. They just didn't fit right or the fabric wasn't as good a quality as I would have liked, so returning these. And then I also have a print order to pick up because that is going to be for the vision board I'm creating. That video should already be up. Yes, that should be up by the time that you guys see this. So I will leave it linked down below so you can watch that one as well. But we're gonna get that done and then I am going to go home and tell you all about my day. So first up was parking. So I didn't actually change health systems. I just changed what facility I was working at within the health system. So there was a lot I was supposed to be able to park at. I parked there, it's really far away. It's 0.6 miles from the pharmacy to be exact because I checked on my watch on the way back to my car because I was curious. So it was a little bit of a walk, which was not bad in the morning. And once I got in there, we kind of like hit the ground running. There was a lot of dispensing going on for investigational products, getting all of my accounts set up, and just a lot of me getting introduced to different people who are working on these different studies. Stop. Mr. Miyagi. Most of the people I was being introduced to were nurses who are working on these studies and are research nurses. So it was nice to kind of get introduced with the people I'm going to be working with a lot in the future. And then I was just kind of shadowing for the day and learning how to use Vestigo, which is the main, it's not an EMR, but like dispensing software for investigational products. I had some experience watching users in residency, but I didn't do a lot of that myself. So actually getting to be the person who's clicking the buttons and putting in these new studies and protocols and drug orders and things like that was a new experience, but also very familiar at the same time since I had some of that in residency and just kind of re-familiarizing myself with a lot of the terminology that goes on with investigational drugs, because there is a lot of acronyms. There is a lot of regulatory law and policy things going on there, which is my favorite. I 
love policy. But yeah, that was kind of how the day went. Just kind of seeing how the workflow is over there. There's a lot going on. There's a ton of studies open. So there's plenty of opportunities for me to jump right in. And I think I'm going to really enjoy the position. It's definitely going to take a little bit to get trained. It's an entirely different world. And I'm very glad that I did have that experience in residency. So I'm not going in completely blind. And I also knew that it was a position that I was going to be interested in because I'd never really been exposed prior to residency. Anyway, I'm going to get off that tangent. So then I got a parking ticket on my first day in the lot I was supposed to park in. So our wonderful administrative assistant got that all taken care of and I'm actually going to be in a parking structure that is much closer to the hospital tomorrow which I am thankful for because the walk to my car wasn't too bad but the walk back in over 100 degree weather in a very nice dress really is not ideal. So overall it was a really good first day. I'm super excited. There's some other things that we're working out like I still don't have a phone and my computer doesn't quite work right but it's all the things that you expect with a new job because you know the technology if it worked right we would think something's wrong because it never actually fully works right. Hopefully they can get that fixed tomorrow or in the next couple days and then I will be good to go. So right now I have about an hour before I have to start making dinner so I'm gonna go ahead and record and work on a vision board. I'm gonna grab a snack first though because I'm super hungry and then we'll make dinner. I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light so excited to try them. So the tacos were good, but the kiwi actually didn't add much flavor because all of the other flavors were so more overpowering than the kiwi was, but I'd eat them again. But now it's time for the kitchen cleanup. <laughs> Okay, just like yesterday, I got my outfit laid out. So this is my outfit for tomorrow with the Lucky Brand loafers. Got my tennis shoes ready to go with my gym outfit. I have a closet that is complete with an attack cat. What are you doing? Hey. Can you please get out of there? I've got my lunch packed as well, so I am going to bed and I'm gonna try to get Mr. Miyagi out of my closet. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>